Um, if you could talk about what it was like, maybe um, we'll start with the visit at the beginning of the semester to Mr. Metzger's farm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the visit to the farm I think was really impactful when it came to making the, the story that we did. Um, because if you don't go out to the farm, it's really hard to know like subtleties about like how things are run and how things operate. Um, you know, the tour that he took us on was just really eye-opening. I mean, you want to capture, like everybody knows like about a farm, like, oh, it's cows, it's corn, it's a barn, but like, it's really like a way of life. And that's really what he showed us. And you're from Finley, right? Mm -hmm. And so you're familiar with farming life, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, absolutely. Like. So, um... For you, like you said, what did it, I mean, for someone who's familiar with that way of life, you talked about being on Mr. Metzger's farm. Could you like just elaborate maybe a little more about how like that particular place impacted the video that you then created? Yeah, um, I mean, it really felt like a, a sense of like family and a sense of home. And I really wanted to articulate that. Um, you know, it's really hard if you're not, if you've never been somewhere, it's hard to articulate like how that place feels. And, you know, being able to visit the farm, I was able to hopefully um, instill a sense of like, like a, like a homestead almost. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And so if you can think back to when you were editing your video, yeah, I know it's a long time ago, <laughs> but um, how, can you think of like any specific instances or ways that you incorporated or could you, I know it's hard to articulate, but mm -hmm. what were you thinking about Mr. Metzger and the farm as you were, you know, because video production was new to you as well, mm -hmm. as yeah. you were doing that. Yeah, it was brand new. Um, you know, editing, I, I thought about taking stuff out that was like maybe choppy in some spots, but then I think doing that would really take away from who he is and who his, and not really who his farm is, but like what it's all about. Um, it, it was pretty difficult, I thought, to edit just because I was new to the software and whatnot, but that's really what I tried to do. Were you proud or not? I mean, were you happy? I shouldn't say, or what's the word? Satisfied with the project that you completed and why or why not? Yeah, I think I was satisfied. Um, for me, it really gave me a hands-on look how to do digital media. Um, what it's like to go out into the field and collect video and then come back and edit that video in a way that tells a story. And so have you applied that sense of storytelling or video production anywhere else? Or do you see that as being um, meaningful for your chosen career? Oh, definitely. I think so. Um, in PR, you know, you have to create pieces of digital media to help get a message out. Um, I think that's absolutely vital. And so one of the things that um, I was hoping for with the project was uh, that students would be able to, students here at Finley would be able to connect to the Finley community. You're from a, someone who's from this community, mm -hmm. so do you think that, um, I guess, like, do you think that that was a good way to do it? And if if so, why so? And if not, how might you um, change that or tweak that to make it even more meaningful and impactful or yeah. what I thought it was? I mean, you're talking about how our students relate? Like yeah, how... like, so students, like, for you, is someone who's from here, right. like, so you have an intimate knowledge about the community, and, like, so maybe students who are not from this community, mm -hmm. but who are still part of this community for four years that they're on this college yeah. campus, right? Yeah, um, it's kind of difficult, I think, to make that connection in just four years. Mm -hmm. um, I mean, I think the way that we did it was pretty impactful because, I mean, I, mean, I think Heidi and people that went on the trip to the farm, I think they got a, a, a better understanding of Mr. Metzger. Um, but I think it's really hard just in four years to connect. Yeah. And so, okay, so going back a little bit, so the personal connection that you made to Mr. Metzger, uh -huh. could you talk about that? And then yeah. how that influenced, again, how you, why this project might be different than, you know, some other project. Yeah, well, Mr. Metzger, first of all, he's the nicest man I think I've ever met in my life. Um, he actually, like I saw him at like three basketball games here and he was like, Hey, what are you doing on Friday night? You want to go to like Arcadia versus whoever? And I was like, well, <laughs> like I would, I would love to, but I think I had something going on, but, um, sorry. What was the second part of your Yeah. Questions? So tell me, that's awesome. Yeah. So tell me about, um, it's great to hear about your relationship, continuing involvement with him and seeing him, you know, mm -hmm. here. 
Um, but so how did like his, you made this personal connection with him that you're explaining, like he was impacted. Could you describe that and then how that impacted you when you sat down to do this project? Yeah, um, I think for me it was more, I wouldn't call it necessarily a friendship because we haven't known each other that long, but um, I really wanted to do him justice with the film. I mean, I didn't want to slight him in any way and I didn't want to make his farm and his homestead out to be something that it wasn't. Um, I didn't want it to be just passing journalism and just make assumptions about things without diving in deeper. Mm -hmm. And so I think you talked about how, can you, can you talk about how that, that goal of doing his farm justice and that story to him, um, how did that play out for someone who's new to digital storytelling and using these, the technology that side? Of yeah, um, you know, it was kind of difficult at first. Um, because I didn't really know where to edit and how things would turn out. But it, I had to like go through with like a fine tooth comb and like really read over things to make sure that it said that what I wanted it to say and not just what it looked in my mind. Mm -hmm. So. And so, uh, do you think that this, ch I mean, and you can say like yes or no, but do you think that um, the assignment for you when you say it's impactful, like in what ways to you personally was it impactful? And then why do you think it was? Well, I mean, for me personally, it gave me um, inside knowledge of um, digital storytelling and how that process works. Um, but for me personally, I thought it was more impactful for our community to be able to see these places and Mr. Mesker that are just hidden gems 